If we go back in time a little. At least to put us back about 10 years. I was working on my parallel career as a developer of embedded electronic systems. And one of my clients told me, I need you to make an electronic prototype for the following. If you look at the police force. Specifically the belt they wear on their uniform. This carries a series of essential elements for the police's work. It is necessary that, if in any arrest procedure or any fight, any of these elements is removed from the belt by a third person outside a certain distance. This element emits a loud beep, which allows the police officer to detect that it was removed, and quickly locate the place where the sound comes from. I kept thinking, geez, detecting the distance at which a specific object is from the police belt. I started brainstorming quickly, and I thought. Will I be able to do it with a distance meter such as the ultrasonic module? Placing it on the police belt, for example, to calculate the distance at which the radio is. Then I thought, this would be useful to measure the distance of any object, this is a bad idea, since I need them to be specific objects that go on the police belt. Also, if we see the policeman from above. With the ultrasonic module we can detect elements in a single direction, leaving out the multiple directions from which the element can be extracted from the belt. Then I began to intuit that no matter from which direction the element was extracted, if it was outside a certain area, the extracted element should be able to emit the auditory signal or the beep. Then I looked at a popular wireless communications module that was included in the market in my country at that time. And I looked in the data sheet of the HC05 Bluetooth module, in the list of commands specifically, and I realized that there was a useful command to measure the RSSI, or received signal strength indicator. With this RSSI parameter, if we have at least two Bluetooth devices communicating with each other, we can determine the intensity of the radio signal emitted from a nearby source. If you move the meter closer to the source, the RSSI parameter will increase, and if you move away from the source, this parameter will decrease. So, I came up with the idea of creating a small Bluetooth device. That could adhere to each of the specific elements, to emit radio signals. And also attach it to the police belt, to capture radio signals. Thus determining a value for the RSSI, mapped to an area or distance specified as a limit, to then measure the RSSI via Bluetooth from each specific element, with respect to the device on the belt, and if that value was less than the RSSI limit, activate the sound of the Bluetooth device using a small buzzer. You can see here the aforementioned function in a laboratory test, in a Bluetooth master-slave configuration. I will teach you how to discover nearby Bluetooth devices, and how to use the appropriate command to measure the strength of the radio signal or RSSI of each of them. If we advance time again about 9 years to the current time, here we find an HC-05 Bluetooth module from these times, one of those that come from China, I connected it to the Arduino to be able to communicate with it from my computer, I connected it via USB. I entered a T mode, or module command mode, and on my computer I tried to use the command that I had used years ago, to discover the Bluetooth devices that were around it, that is, AT, plus INQ, however, an error appeared in response. I entered the command AT, plus version, to obtain the firmware version of the device, and doing a little research on the internet, I realized that version 3.0, which has been released since 2017 in these modules, does not contemplate the discovery of Bluetooth devices nearby, to obtain the RSSI parameter, or radio signal strength. So I decided to replace this HC05 Bluetooth module with the HM10 Bluetooth module. This HM10 module, which handles version 4.0 of the Bluetooth standard, allows the discovery of other Bluetooth devices by calculating their signal strength or RSSI. Be careful, although it is very similar in its physical form to the compatible at 09 module, it is not the same module, if you need to work with the measurement of RSSI signals, make sure you are using the HM10 module, and not the at 09 at least in the module that will be used as a master to measure the RSSI. On a breadboard, I will connect the HM10 module to a small nano board compatible with Arduino, and I will connect it to the computer for programming. At boot time, 
the module starts by default in AT mode, or command reception mode. Then from my computer, I will upload to the Arduino board the bridge code that you see on the screen, and that will allow me to communicate my computer with the HM10 module via serial, code that I leave in the description in case you need it. Once uploaded to the nano board, I will open the serial monitor of the Arduino software. And I will type the commands. AT. To verify that it responds OK, indicating that the connection between my computer and the HM10 module was established. AT plus roll 1. To place the Bluetooth module in master mode or central role. At plus IME 1. To ensure that the module boots in AT mode, upon power up. And then, the command of our interest, AT plus disk, followed by a question mark. This will bring us the discovery of all the Bluetooth devices that are close to my HM10 central module. In this case it gives me information about only one nearby device, which is the Bluetooth module that I am going to use later as a slave, and from this nearby module I can see its identification number, which is a unique number that identifies this device globally, and which is necessary to keep in mind for the subsequent programming of the Arduino, and finally the RSSI, or signal strength that my central HM10 module can capture, from this nearby module. This is the parameter of our interest, and it will be the parameter that we must extract from this entire chain of information, which will give us an idea of how close the slave module is to my HM10 central module. As a slave module, I will use an at 9 model compatible with the HM10, which arrived from China, I will connect it with an UNO board compatible with Arduino, only so that the board supplies 5 volts of power, and for nothing else, since this module comes factory configured as a Bluetooth slave, so I do not need any additional programming. Then I will connect the UNO board with a 9 volt battery, exclusively to power the at 9 Bluetooth module, and ready the slave module. Returning to our master module, which I still have connected to my computer, I am going to load the code that you see on the screen, a code that I will leave you in the description of the video, and that allows you to detect a nearby device specified by you, and at the same time, extract its signal strength or RSSI. In this code you must enter the identification number of your Bluetooth module or slave device, and you must enter the RSSI limit from which you want your master module to perform some action, in this case it will generate a loud beep and turn on an LED light, then let's upload the code to the nano board in my case. Once loaded, I will open the serial monitor as a test, and here I will find the RSSI or signal strength captured by my HM10 central Bluetooth module, and coming from my at 9 slave Bluetooth module. In my case, when the central module is next to the slave module, the RSSI has a value close to minus 40 dBm. Then let's disconnect the central or master module from the PC, connect an active buzzer to the nano board as an auditory indicator, and a red LED as a visual indicator. Then let's connect a 9 volt battery, to power the Arduino compatible nano board, and that's it. We see the result. Dear friends, I send you a special greeting from Electronic Spot, I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.